Yo YouTube, welcome back to another video. First things first, make sure you guys follow my Instagram and TikTok at the fourth Ken. And as you can see, we got some work to do. So let's get to it. We got a crazy, crazy transformation today. So we're gonna be doing like a two with the grain, knocking the front of his hair down to match with those light spots. And we're gonna get them together. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna pick out his hair. I didn't wash it prior. We're actually gonna wash it after we cut it down. Shout out Lixid. All the beats in this video are by Lixid. All his details, his IG, all that is down in the description. So I combed it through a little bit. And the thing about his hair, his hair isn't dirty, it's just dry. So, and it's matted down. So once we wash it, we're gonna add a lot of conditioner just to get it moisturized. So I'm basically just chopping it down with a number two guard on my end is masters. And I'm going with the grain. He told me he didn't want it too low. This isn't my first time cutting him. Um, but yeah, he has those two light spots on the top of his hairline, but it isn't too bad. Like it looks bad at first, but once we cut it down, you're going to see it's really not that bad. So as you can see, it's dry. It's not dirty, it's just dry. Also, if you guys want to purchase any of the tools I'm using, I do have an Amazon storefront. The link is in the description down below. All the tools I use, um, the stuff I use in my studio, all my equipment, my YouTube equipment, it's all it all can be found there. So check that out. So once his hair is all knocked down, we're going to wash it a quick wash. Um, I really want to emphasize the importance of using conditioner on your clients. Washing is cool if the hair is dirty, but in this case, his hair wasn't really dirty. It needed moisture, moisturizer. So to add that moisture, conditioning is perfect. Now we're setting in our first guideline. He basically wants a mid fade with C cups. So we have our mythics. If you guys make a purchase at Stylecraft or Gamma, use my code, the fourth can at checkout. It's about like an 8% discount just to save you guys some money. But our first guy line, we're going up about an inch with our mythic, mythics. And after that, I close my lever and I grab my one guard, my wall one guard. And right above that, you wanna open up your lever. I really switch up my fading systems. It just depends on who I'm cutting. I feel like this worked perfectly on this client. Then you're gonna close it again to clean up under that. Next, you wanna gra grab your two guard. And I'm basically just debulking now, the lever's fully closed. And I'm just debulking the side of his head. Now I have my one and a half guard and I'm going with the grain. As you can see, the hair on the, the diagonal part of his head, it's more dense than the top of his head. So we're gonna lower that area. We have our one and a half, lever's fully closed and we're going against the grain. And as you can see, it's already coming together. That blend is already coming together. It's very easy to fade this texture of hair in my opinion. Um, it's more difficult when you're fading like straight, straighter hair. I love this hair texture, it's beautiful. Um, now I have my one guard. His hair is extremely curly. So when hair, the more curly the hair is, in my opinion, it's easier to blend sometimes. Now I have my 0.75 guard, which is really the half guard with Babylon's, but I call it the 0.75 guard because it cuts in between the one and the true zero. This is my half guard, my wall premium half guard. The lever is halfway, and then I close it as I move up. And now this is the part where I deep bulk the side of his head and I have my one guard my wall one guard and the lever is fully open and it kind of evened it out 
it, it thinned it out and it made it how I wanted it to look. Now my lever is fully closed with my Mythics and I'm pretty much trying to get out that bottom guy line. And as I move up, I'm slightly opening my lever and using my corners to blend out the bottom of the fade. And I will have to grab my detachables to finish blending it. But yeah, this is gonna be a dope video. Make sure you guys stick around for the lineup. He looked like a completely different person at the end. Stay tuned. We're just finishing up on a fade, doing some detail work. Detail work is important on a fade. Um, so yeah, I grab my detachables and I'm kind of just flicking at the bottom just to get that ball line out. Now I'm freehanding his beard. I don't recommend doing that. You will mess up if you aren't advanced. Um, and I'm just doing a quick beard fade, blending his beard in before we move on to the back. The back is going to be pretty much the same. You guys are going to see me do it kind of fast. Um, so yeah, so same thing. Ball line first with our trimmers. Lever open and notice how much space I'm giving myself. Lever closed with our one guard, one close. And you're going to open it up. Flick out. Grab the two against the green, lever close. One and a half, lever close. It's really easy, guys. I have different fading systems that I use. I, I just switch it up whenever I'm bored. Um, sometimes I fade like this, sometimes I don't. One open, 0 0.75 guard closed. Half guard, lever halfway, lever close. Detachable blade to get out that bottom guy line. Lever close, no guard. Lever halfway, detailing it. And it's blended, it's that simple. Sometimes you will have to connect those. If you're fading in sections, you will have to connect those sections. And now we're just shaping up the bottom of his beard. I picked this beard out to begin with. I didn't show it but it still wasn't completely picked out. So we're gonna pick it out at the end. He told me he wanted to like, you know, pick it out, kind of get those loose hairs. So to start on the shape up, we're gonna be starting in the middle of his head. And we're gonna make a straight line and slightly curve it at the end. Some people don't have a naturally just perfectly straight hairline. In this case, he does not, but it's full. He has a full hairline. Um, it's slightly curved at the end, but towards the end, if you curve both sides in the natural way that it goes, it will look straight looking at them head on. So his C cup, I point it right there because we will have to push his C cup back because his C cups grow unevenly. The other side, you guys will see it in a, in a quick moment. The other side, it's higher up, way higher up. So this side, you do have to push it back just to even it out. And now we're gonna shape up his beard. So this side, as you can see, the C cup, the growth, there isn't as much growth. And we're just continuing the shape up on this side using our full blade. These are my Babilis FX trimmers. And I have my gold blade. I recommend the gold blade when working with curly hair. It works perfectly. And using the corner of the blade to carve out that C cup. You don't wanna drag it. I used to drag it doing the full thing. You, will, you won't cut your client, but you'll kind of irritate them, like irritate the skin, and then it might make welts. So this is how it looks before enhancements. Now we're gonna enhance it with our Kiss Express. I use the darkest brown color. All, all these machines and clippers, they'll all be in my Amazon storefront in the description. Use my promo code, the fourth Ken with Easy Bleed. When you're shopping with Easy Bleed, use my promo code for a discount. And now we're gonna detail the fade. 
The haircut's almost finished. We have a couple more parts. This is important. So when doing a big chop like that, you want to freehand, especially after washing the hair, because when you wash the hair, it's just going to be frizzy. That's just how it is. So unless you're using like styling foam or something. So we're freehanding it, getting all the loose hairs. And now we're gonna pick out his beard. I decided to use scissors when trimming it, just because he didn't really want it even. He just wanted it like the loose hairs, like the stragglies. So that's what we're getting right now with the scissors. Not digging into it, not trying to carve it out, just, you know, cleaning it up a little bit. Now we're gonna add some moisturizer in his hair. This is a lightweight oil spray, which I love. It's not greasy, it's not oily. It adds that, you know, realistic shine. It's not gonna make the hair look fake or make it look too greasy. So this is how my client came in. And this is how he's leaving. Make sure you guys drop a like, comment, and subscribe. And it's the fourth Ken, and I'm out. Peace.